Hey you lot, how's it going? No fancy editing today, I'm afraid. I really just wanted to put all my attention into this painting because uh, I knew it was going to be quite a challenge for me because the whole thing was really experimental. Um, for starters, it was my first time using this gouache, this brand. Um, I didn't know how it was going to behave. Isn't that yellow gorgeous? Looks like it's glowing. Uh, yeah, but it's my first time using this brand of paint. It's Royal Talons, by the way, and I'm testing it out to see if I want to mention it in my Gouache 101 video that I plan on having up in two or three weeks or so. Uh, I also haven't painted a landscape in a very long time, and I think this is my first ever time painting a landscape in Gouache, as far as I can remember. Not to mention the fact that I didn't even really prepare for this video. I didn't make any colour swatches or even map out the composition with pencil or anything first. I just decided to dive right on in there and get started with it because I was excited. I had an idea of how I wanted it to look, but um, I was also really apprehensive to be doing something that I was not really used to. And I decided to approach this in a different way than how I normally would approach a painting. The proper way, really, um, like by building the painting in layers rather than just plopping it down on paper as I see it, which is what I normally do. And I think my usual way does work, kind of, but I always have this feeling with my paintings that they're almost there, almost right, but just not quite, like they're lacking something, depth, I don't know. And I think that's because I don't put so much time into developing it as a whole piece made up of several parts, looking at all the extra little details that go into a painting, more than just what you see in the end. And I found it quite hard to get the hang of it, to be honest, building layers, because you have to look at what you're painting in a completely different way, break it down into really almost abstract elements of colour and shape and tone, and a lot of the time it's just to suggest things. And like you can see me here just getting sucked into this one corner, adding more and more detail because I guess it takes a while to form that habit of going one layer at a time. But it was still a process that I enjoyed, one that I'll hopefully get used to and I do think looking at the finished painting that it really paid off. Oh, I'm also trying really hard not to leave my brushes soaking in water, I guess I'm just trying to be more mindful and careful in all different areas of my art. Really loved adding in all these little trees. I think that might have been my favorite bit. I've always loved drawing trees. I really forgot how much I love drawing landscapes in general. I used to do them all the time because I just find it so calming. It's such a reliable thing to draw, especially buildings. I love the symmetry, I love the structure. I feel quite safe with it. Like you can't really go wrong with straight lines and angles. It all makes sense. And then even with like natural landscapes, the great thing is that it doesn't really have to make sense. There aren't any rules. Like with this painting, I didn't map it out or anything. I threw in some leaves and trees and things that probably wouldn't or shouldn't exist in this scene, but it still adds up. And I did use a reference photo for this painting, by the way. I'll leave a link below to it and to the Tumblr blog where I found it. Actually, one of my favorite blogs on Tumblr. I've mentioned before that I love drawing landscapes from Google Street View. And this blog is just full of the most beautiful pockets of the world from Google Street View and some really pretty personal photography as well. So definitely worth checking out either for reference or just as something peaceful and beautiful to look at. Uh, what else? So this paint, yeah, uh, I'm really impressed. This was actually sent to me by Royal Talons. I have heard about them before here and there but I never really thought to branch out from what I'm used to. I am so grateful though, these paints are really nice. Great thickness for layering, nicer of colours, lovely and creamy for blending, and I'll have to try it out a bit more, but I honestly really think that it was the quality of this gouache that helped to take this painting exactly where I wanted it to be. And just FYI, this isn't a sponsored video. I know I'm going on about it a bit. Uh, they haven't actually asked me to talk about it or use it in this video at all. As I said, I'm just trying it out to see what I think. And I don't want to be... Is this weird? I love the little box that they came in. Like, it's just a little cardboard box, but it just looks and feels kind of cute and retro. I can't explain it. Anyway, so with this bit of the painting, uh, I was sort of getting to the focal point and the whole thing was getting a bit busier. And I was thinking, like, what now? Do I need another layer? Do I just put in a big block of colour? Somehow it all just started to come together. Um, I actually have this video at half the speed that I normally speed up my videos to. 
because I was just whizzing through this painting, not really thinking too much, just almost just messing about. I've been in a bit of a creative block recently and I decided to approach today with no pressure. Last week I did record a video but I just, I wasn't feeling it and I got a bit uh, about it and I ended up deleting all the footage and then instantly regretting it. So this time I decided that whatever happens, whatever I end up with, I'm uploading it. So yeah, I'm glad I went into it with that sort of mindset. I do think that made quite a difference. Right, and then getting really dark with the foreground was quite daunting with those big black trees because it had been such a soft, airy painting before. And I didn't want to throw off the balance or add too much contrast, but I actually think it helped with the flow of things. I definitely need to do more work looking into colour and light and shade and tonal values and how they affect a painting. Those are the types of things where I really wish I did have some proper classical training in art because I think it's so important to understand all the little things that go into putting together a great painting. But yeah, we're coming to the end now. This is probably one of my new favourite paintings. I hope you all like it too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.